Hi everyone, welcome to the video. This is a walkthrough of Tuesday morning. And so first of all, there are these like envelope cases and I'm not sure what the actual name of them are, but I really liked these vintage ones. I thought you guys might enjoy seeing these. And they are covered in what looks like ephemera and they're by the Punch Studio, so these were $3.99. And they had a couple of other vintage ones. They also had a lot of stacks of paper, different, uh, a lot of DCWV, Authentic. This one had a baby theme. So lots of DCWV, a lot of floral patterns, and then they had quite a few stacks that were eight and a half by 11. Quite a bit of cardstock. This was some marker paper by Spectrum Noir. This is more of the DCWV, their black and white paper. They had these neon colored adhesive papers, peel and stick. And this I believe was Seven Gypsies. It's craft paper, 12 by 12. And it's all the same sheet. So I think those are meant for classes or when a group, like a crafting group is all doing the same project. They had the Serengeti paper from Seven Gypsies. Same thing where it was all one, uh, sh the same sheet, several sheets of it. This was a Momenta stamp that I thought was really cool that is, uh, you could stamp it all out as one stamp, but then you can use the individual ones too. So that one was $7.99. They had quite a few washi tapes, so a lot of Can Company. Uh, this one was Little B. And more Seven Gypsies. They had quite a few of these little journals that have vintage type paper in them. I saw those in a couple different spots in the store. And this time I made sure to film a little bit slower because I, I know the Hobby Lobby video, it went a little fast. Uh, this was a coloring book. Had some really neat designs. So I'd love to know your experience with coloring books and which ones you've tried and if you've gotten in on the coloring book trend. So here are more of those Seven Gypsies little books that I was talking about. And I didn't know until recently that Seven Gypsies is part of the Canvas Core brand and I've learned a lot about Canvas Core from Shannon Green's channel. Uh, some Tim Holtz Distress Glitter. They had a couple different colors, several of those. Lots of little tapes. And if you've been in Tuesday Morning recently, you've probably seen that they have a lot of the Ranger dye inks, so there are quite a few of those. And these were some pigment inks. And that is Hampton Art. They had some full-size Tattered Angels Glimmer Mists. And then just some single ones. Those weren't priced, so I thought they might have actually come out of their package. Chalk markers.
And this, I believe, was, yeah, chalk paint. So for $1.99, I thought that'd be a fun way to try out some chalk paint. And then a whole bunch of tapes from Heidi Swap, and it's the Marquee Love line. Lots of cute designs. They had some planners and planner sets. And some of the things here I have seen at Michael's, a lot of the American craft stuff. Uh, stencil paint from Deco Art. They had quite a few dyes. Uh, they had a lot of the bigs dyes and then more um, some of the more, you know, the steel rule kind of thin lit type dies. I saw quite a few of those too. The most I saw were Tim Holtz and Sizzix. They had a few spellbinders here and there. So they had some of the Halloween stuff from Tim Holtz. It was definitely like a real hodgepodge. They had, um, Real seasonal stuff, you know, Christmas, Halloween, some really cute stamp sets. And I just wanted to get the, the name brand in those, in case you're interested in those, it's Echo Park. So all of those clear stamps that you see are Echo Park. And then they had quite a few Inka Dinka Doo stamp sets. And I thought these were a steal for $1.99 and I had seen some of these in a recent haul that LP Redflower did. And I did pick up a couple of the Inka Dinka Doo ones. This was a die set uh, that makes a like a file folder. It's Seth Apter. But that was really cool. I hadn't seen anything like that before where you could actually make some type of a file folder from a die. So that'd be really cool for junk journaling and all kinds of stuff for your paper crafting. They had neon acrylic paints, $3.99. Uh, they had the Heidi Swap Mink. Uh, this was a giant, oh no, not quite yet. We Are Memory Keepers Punch Board. That one was $14.99. This is what I was talking about. It's a gigantic stencil. Uh, most of the stencils they had were for home decor, but you could use them in mixed media art too. This one is 21 by 17 inches. And I believe it was $1.99. Yep. So that one's folk art. So yeah, like I said, a lot of stuff that you would see at Michael's I've seen a lot of those stencils at Michael's. And here I'll just do a quick flip through of more folk art stencils. They had um, like a vintage Paris one. There were lots of different kind of geometric designs. And most of these were $2.99. I saw a couple that were $4.99. So lots of large letter stencils. And this one actually had the large letters plus a set of eight different patterns. So they had some cute block stamps.
I was just kind of digging through the baskets to see what all the little goodies were in there. That was a really cute set of uh, dinnerware. There's a closer look at those. A really pretty, ornate hot air balloon. So that one was an Inka Dinka Do. And they had some six by six paper pads. I believe those are also Echo Park, $2.99. They had these cute little burlap sacks from Maya Road. And I haven't seen much from Maya Road in, in quite a while, so that was cool to see those. Ventology. And it's hard to kind of get in the nooks and crannies back here, but they had this Seven Gypsies set of, I guess those are bezels or um, something that you could use <clears throat> in mixed media or as jewelry. They had a couple of sets of ephemera from, I believe those are Seven Gypsies, um, like assorted plain tags. Vintage Market from Seven Gypsies. That one was $2.99. And then there was a set of Ephemera. Quite a few pieces in that one. So that's from Architectures from, yeah, that's a 50, 50 piece set. Architectures from Seven Gypsies. Down here they had Spectrum Noir Basics. So the 24 piece set for I believe $19.99. This is the alcohol markers. And this was also Seven Gypsies. Cute little crate. That one, $4.99 for that one. Then they had these pretty raw charm uh, pendants. Not sure if raw charm is the name of the brand or just the line, but I believe each of those was $3.99. Had some bead mixes and a lot of the bead gallery strings. So quite a few of the beads similar to things you would see at Joann's or Michael's. They had a lot of tassels. Thought that was a good price on those for $1.99. They had some more We Are Memory Keeper uh, board type stuff for card making and paper crafting. So this one was the Triangle Score Guide. And here's uh, Rebecca Meyer designs. There was some of her gauze for mixed media.
They had some of the fabric quarters, the fat quarters, some really pretty designs, very colorful. This was in more of the sewing section. They just had some random washi tape there for $3.99. So that is American Crafts. And a two edge punch from We Are Memory Keepers. I thought that was really pretty. Metallic markers. More of the Echo Park stamps. Then they had some six by six paper pads from Cartabella. This was more like a party section, gift bags. Lots of really cute patterns. Then they had some really cool yarn and I wanted to show you, this reminded me of, um, in a second here you'll see what I'm talking about that sort of silky type yarn. I've seen a lot of the ladies here on YouTube that do junk journaling. They use those, um, those types of trims and ribbons in their junk journals. And I'm pretty sure you can dye those too. So you get quite a bit and it is $14.99 and I was trying to find out how much you get exactly and it'll show here in a second yeah so 120 yards some more burlap fabric Three pounds of that from Canvas Core. And then just to wrap it up, I wanted to show you some of the pretty boxes that they had, and some of the decorative boxes. And a little bit more of the party section, some funny magnets. And wrapping paper, there was one design here. It was like a really pretty foiled flower design. And some really pretty napkins for your junk journals or in an art journal. I know uh, we love to use our napkins, so they had a lot of pretty prints, a lot of beach themed things that seemed like gearing up for summer. So thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.